Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna do something a tiny bit different. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite products, like the ultimate favorite products for myself and for my kids. This is really like a mix. Uh, it's not really everything straight from my kids, nor is it all straight from my personal makeup stash. Um, because everybody always asks me like, what's your favorite makeup brand or what's your favorite product and I don't really have a favorite makeup brand because I pick and choose what I like from each brand um, I have like a real mix uh, high low although I will say everything here is pretty much uh, on the more expensive side not like Tom Ford or anything like that but like more like a medium to high uh, price point so um, I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite uh, skin products, lip products, cheeks, um, eyeshadows. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my favorite, favorite, favorite primer. Um, and that would be the uh, Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. This is like a cult classic, this is a favorite for a lot of people. And for good reason, this is an amazing primer. It's supposed to uh, tighten the skin, I can really attest to that. but it does give you like a very smooth base for makeup application and I find that makeup lasts longer with, when I apply this. Uh, I use it in my, on my kids, uh, so on my clients and sometimes on myself. It's hydrating but it doesn't sit like very heavy on top of the skin. It just, it, nor is it like quickly absorbed uh, but it does provide like the perfect slip for makeup application. So this is a total win. Next up is gonna be my favorite base. And you will have seen me talk about this forever and ever and ever because I do like it. I've been using it forever. Um, and it's one that I really recommend all the time. And I know it might seem kind of intuitive given that I like more natural makeup, but this product is fantastic. And it's the uh, double wear, double, um, Estee Lauder double wear foundation. And it is a matte foundation, but it's a natural matte. It's not like cakey matte, it's not dry matte, it's just very natural matte. And the way that I like to use this is over a very emollient base. So when I wear this, I'm actually wearing it today on top of the uh, John Elephant Marula Oil. So I like to wear it on top of things like that, you know, that are going to really moisturize my skin so that this doesn't sit so heavy on top of it. Um, it is also, um, I would say, full coverage. Sorry, I have like hairs flying on my face. It is full coverage, um, but I find that when I apply it on, a, like, over a very moisturizing skincare, you know, skincare product, um, I get like a lighter coverage. So I feel like you can tailor it really. So that makes it very versatile. So I really like this. I will say though, this is probably not the best for those of you who have very dry skin, but it works for me and I have normal skin and this is definitely good for someone with oily skin. Next up on the face category is my beloved NARS Creamy Concealer. I go back to this always. This is an amazing product and it covers really well. It is not super, it's not super moisturizing nor is it too matte so it's it's kind of like in the middle um i find that it is dry enough to be used on the face like if you have like acne or you know stuff like that not if you have like crazy acne but if you have like some things to cover here and there this will do the job and it will do it really well it lasts forever on the skin um i have gone through so many of these, I really like it. And this is one that I have on my kit as well because it covers really well. So this is amazing, fantastic product. Following up with the uh, skin section of the video, it's gonna be a, an illuminator base. Well, you can use this as a primer really or on top of makeup as your highlighter. And this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. And I really like this because the shimmering in this is very undetectable you can really see it sitting on, uh, sitting on top of the skin it's not super in your face it's just very subtle very natural again i have this on today and um i don't have the shade though i have opal which is like a rose gold shade um and it's just super pretty it's very natural it's 
it's just a good all-rounder product. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about blushes. In blushes, I, I'm like a huge fan of liquids and creams and you know all those type of things. So I'm gonna st start talking about the uh, Glossier Cloud Paint, and this is the shade puff. I only have this one in Beam, but I am tempted to get the other ones for my kit because these are so good. These last forever on the skin. So good. They're, they are super pigmented. They are easy to apply. They don't lift off the product that's underneath. So I don't find that I have to be like super careful with it because it's going to move my foundation around. So this is a real winner. And I like to mix it sometimes with my... So with something like this, with the uh, illuminator and create more like a creamy, like shimmery blush. Um, it mixes really well. And it's kind of like on the liquidy side, it's not completely like, it's not like a cream, it's more liquidy, but it is amazing. I like to use it with a brush. Um, so maybe something like this, you know, dual fiber synthetic brush, it works really well. Um, it's just fantastic. Next up, um, I'm gonna talk about the Bobbi Brown's, what is it, Pot Rouge. This is a lips and cheek product. Uh, I don't really find it works really well for the lips because it can look kind of dry, even though the product itself is really, really, is dewy, is very shiny. And that is what I have on my cheeks today. It's not this color, uh, which is pale pink, it's Calypso Coral, which is like a very bright um, coral shade. It's really pretty, it's very shiny, so maybe for those of you who have dry, normal and or dry skin, it's gonna work amazingly well. I really like this because the finish is just so dewy, it's so juicy, it's really a beautiful product and it comes in very different shades, like a lot of, like a big range of shades. So yeah, fantastic. Next up, the next, um, cream uh, cream blush is gonna be the Stila convertible color and this is also this one broke this is my own and this is very shameful but um, these are amazing too these are actually very similar to the Bobbi Brown ones but they come in more like fun shades and by fun I don't mean like blue but I mean like more like brighter pinks and like brighter shades I actually this is the only one that I have for me <clears throat> for myself but on my kit I do, I did buy uh, two palettes, they have like five different colors, so I have like 10 shades in total and they are so good. I like to actually layer them with powder, uh, powder blushes on top so that they last forever, just to make the, the blush really last like a long time. Uh, these are also super dewy, they're gonna give like a lot of shine, they're going to make you look fresher and younger so that's one product that i always go back to next up the uh powder blushes and i have to go with nars they make the best blushes ever these are the ones that i use on my professional kit i have like a big palette with a bunch of different shades and this just blend really easily, they last a long time, they're super pigmented, but not crazy pigmented that you have to be scared that it's going to like, like boom, be like super like in your face. They're just amazing. And for myself, this is the shade that I like the most. This is Deep Throat. So I know some people call it like the uh, little sister, or little brother or whatever of orgasm. Um, and I guess that makes sense because it's the same like peachy pink, um, kind of luminous blush, but the shimmer in this is not so intense. So for someone that has texture, that likes the color of orgasm, but has more texture on the skin, this is gonna be amazing. But they come in like a bunch of different shades, so there's really something for everyone. Last on the skin category, is gonna be the Sculpting Powder by Kevin Upon. And this is fantastic, you know, this is, the color is just so realistic. The powder is very, it's very easy to blend to, it's very finely milled, it, it's just, and the color is perfect, you know, it's not too brown, it's not too gray, it just sits in the middle, and I like to use the shade light on myself, because I don't like to be super contoury, so I find that this gives me enough contour, 
without looking like it is too much or to be like undetectable. Okay, next up I'm gonna talk about the eyes, everything on the eyes. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about mascara and this is Chanel Le Volume and this is amazing. You know, I go back to this always. And this is actually like a burgundy shade, so it's not the black one. I haven't gotten black one in a long time, sorry. Um, but it's amazing. This gives great volume. You do, I, you do have to let it dry a teeny tiny bit at the beginning because it comes out really wet. So, but if you wait for like a week, this is going to be fantastic. It gives amazing volume. It doesn't clump up the lashes. It comes up really easily. It doesn't smudge. This is fantastic. Next up, eyeliners. And, um, If you've been watching me for a while, you might know that my ultimate, ultimate liquid liner is the uh, Carbon D, what is this, the Tattoo Liner. And this is just so easy to use, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't, you know, do anything crazy, it lasts all day, and it's super easy to apply. And I like the, uh, I really like the tip, it's not a felt tip, it's like a, like a brush, and it comes to a very fine point, so you can really like, like, make your lines super thin or thicker if you want. And uh, this is just an amazing product. It, it never fails. I've been buying it for years and years and years and I've been trying different liners, but I always, always come back to this. So now for uh, for pencils, I have, well, lately I've been using the, what are these, the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. And these are so good. These are kind of like on the drier side. These are not like, crazy pigment or you know crazy buttery and soft but these work really well if you want to smudge your liner this might not be the perfect thing if you want something like to create a wing maybe these are really good if you like i said if you want to like diffuse it if you maybe want to use them as a base for your um for your smoky eye or something like that these work really well, really well on the waterline too. I find that these last forever. And these are just really easy to work with. They're on the drier side again, but I don't. They're not like insanely dry. They're still creamy, you know. Next up are the Marc Jacobs gel eyeliners, and these are more creamy. Uh, and these are super, super long lasting. So you do have to work really well and really fast with this. Um, because when you apply it, it gives you like a tiny bit of playtime, but after they set, they set. So these are amazing to wear in the waterline uh, because they're gonna last a really long time. And they come in like a great range of shades, you know, like blues and greens and golds and purples. And now they came out with like a shimmery version. Um, so I have the, uh, the brown one and the red one and they have like crazy shimmer and they're super cute and fun. Next up, I'm gonna talk about brows. And I've been saying, like, if you follow me, you know that I don't really do much to my brows because I have bangs. So really, sometimes I use products, most of the times I really don't. But when I do, I use this one. And it is soap brows. And this is just glycerin soap in a tin. So it seems kind of gimmicky, but it's actually super convenient. And this is amazing. It really works. It works really well to set your brows and to like put them in place. It gives a bit of fullness. It gives thickness, and it makes your like your brows look amazing. You can use this in combination with a different product. So if say if you use powders to fill them in, or if you use like a like a you know like a liner or a pencil or whatever. This works really well with that too. So what I like to do on myself, I just use this on my own, on, on its own, but on my clients, I fill them in and then I go with this. So what I do with this is I spray it a little bit with water or setting spray or, you know, whatever you want to do. And then I rub this fully here and I comb my brows. Next up are eyeshadow palettes. And, and I have three brands here that I want to talk about. And first is Dior. Dior makes amazing shadows. And yes, these are very expensive, but the, um, and this is just my own. This is a really bright one. But the selection of the shades, they're always very sophisticated, very, 
you know, the, the, the are, they are just like super very well curated, you know, the shades really go well with each other and they're not like boom in your face and they're also not super pigmented, they're for more like sophisticated soft looks but I really like this and I actually have like a full palette in my kit because I find that sometimes I have clients that are like, no, I want something like super natural so I always go back to this because it blends really easily, the pigment is not so intense so I'm not gonna be doing something you know, very like dark or you know, very defined or anything. So it, it really gives more of a diffused, diffused look, if that makes any sense. Also, Anastasia palettes. Um, these are ones that I have for myself and in my kit. For different reasons than the Dior ones, these are actually very buttery, very pigmented, very, very, very pigmented. And I really like them, they just, they last really well. The colors are really cool, you know, they have like, different things like this one that has like this crazy green here and like orange shades and you know, purples and like bluey silvers and you also have the more natural ones like the modern renaissance or the soft glam which are amazing and I have in my kit because they work really well. Um, most of their shadows really do lean to the more warm side, so if you don't like that, maybe these are not for you. However, do like go through their selection if you're interested, because they have like tons of different palettes, so I doubt that you will, won't be able to find something for you. Okay, next up uh, are the uh, Huda Beauty palettes, and I have this here, but I have like four more uh, that, li that live in my kit um, and I just like them because the shades are really cute they're really fun they're not they wouldn't be like the Dior ones that are very you know like sophisticated and beautiful browns and these and that but they're funner and I like the ones that they created now because they come like like color coded so these are these are always the old blues these are more oranges and golds this these are all like reds and like you know pinky shades so these are amazing these are not the most like long lasting ever so you do have to wear a primer but these are really cool they pack a punch so they're super pigmented they blend really well the uh, metallics are really intense so yeah these are amazing next up is one that you will have seen me use forever and ever and ever and it is the narcissist wanted palette uh this is my own this actually broke and this one broke too because my cat pushed in out of the edge of the counter so yeah but this is a selection of matte shades you know like neutral and ready shade it, you know ready shades and more like glitters these are these are amazing this is really what i need for you know for, for for everything because i don't really do much on myself so i find that these are super pigmented they blend really well uh, they're long lasting uh, i do wear a primer with this most of the time but you know they're pretty long lasting they're amazing next up i'm gonna talk about lips so um first of all lip liner because i am a freak about lip liners and for lip liners, I have the Makeup Forever ones, which are going to be the same as the pencil, the eye pencil ones. They're the same line. You can use them on the lips, on the eyes, on the face, wherever you want. And these are amazing. These are on the drier side. They're creamy. They glide on really well. But they are like drier. So these are really good for cheating like a fuller lip if you wanted to do that. Oh, so these come in a very like a wide you know range of shades uh reds purples browns everything you need next for lips again lip liners are the mac lip liners and these have been my favorite forever and ever and ever and these are a bit drier than the uh, makeup forever ones so i kind of like them for everyday wear because they give a very soft a very soft very very soft look uh especially this one which is subculture which i've had for years this is actually kind of dry it out by now but it is an amazing shade and it works really well to again like cheat your um 
your lip shape. So if you want to make your lips look fuller, this is amazing. Uh, this is an amazing shade. Obviously, the shade that you're going to pick is going to depend on, on your skin tone. But they have a big selection of shades for everyone. So you should be really able to find whatever it is that you're looking for. Next up, another lipstick in another MAC product, I should say, and their lipsticks are really good. They, again, they come in like wide range of shades, so there's really something for everyone. This is one of my favorites. This is the one that I'm wearing today, and it is Velvet Teddy, and it is the perfect nude. It is like a matte shade, but it's creamy, so it doesn't feel dry at all. So I was filming yesterday, and the camera cut me off, then it didn't have any battery, all in all, I couldn't finish filming. Um, but anyways, I only have one product left, so that is what I'm gonna talk to you. Uh, and it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And again, if you've been following me, I use this all the time. I really like it, and um, it really smooths out the pores. So it leaves a very velvety, but not powdery finish to the skin. Uh, because sometimes powders can be like super heavy, not so fine, they can leave your face looking dry. This doesn't do that at all. And uh, I really like it. This is, well, I actually, I have this product for myself, this is my own. I have this small one here and I have it for my kid as well because it is so good and it smooths everything out. It's just, it looks really natural. Um, it comes in a bigger packaging, but I find that this one is better for my, for my purse. Um, and honestly, I've had, I've had this for like maybe a year and I'm not nearly close to finishing it. So this will last you forever. Uh, the big one is kind of bulky. It, that's the one that I carry in my kit. Sorry, my, my dog is scratching himself. Mm -hmm. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury one and not the, uh, not the loose powder, but the, uh, the compact. And that one is good, I really like it. It has a bit of color, so it's not translucent like this one, but um, I'm not sure, I think this one smooths out the skin even more. However, because the other one, the Charlotte Tilbury one, is not compact, it's just a tiny bit more convenient because, I mean, this does, I don't know if you can see it. Oy! Okay. Uh, this kind of does go everywhere, you know, and powder like flies everywhere and uh, it's a bit messy But I've been using this for years, so that obviously hasn't stopped me. So yeah, that is it uh, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what it is. What is it you what, what products do you like? Uh, what's your ultimate like favorite like? Especially for skin. I, I feel like skin is so personal um, Everybody has different tastes and different you know, different skin types, different everything. Uh, skin is very a very personal thing. But let me know. Let me know what you like. Let me know if, you know, one of the things that I mentioned is something that you really enjoy using on yourself. Um, and yeah, we'll see you. We'll see each other again soon.